home and uh, there's a package waiting for me um, from Wimberley in the USA. So um, Chuck at Wimberley, thank you very much. Wimberley are a company that make um, tripod heads and tripod plates, but they also have a system, um, which I think this is, um, uh, called Plamp. So I'm just kind of opening the box. Um, now, Wimberley have sent these to me to review. Uh, I've, I've been using Plamp for quite a long time. They've got some new products out, so just uh, opening the box to see what's in there. Yeah, so uh, it's all uh, new Plamp stuff. I don't know where the word Plamp comes from. I, I guess a um, combination of Clamp and pincers or something. I, I don't know. Wimberley, where does Plamp come from? Um, but what Plamp is essentially is a an extra pair of hands. Um, so let's see what the, the, so this is um, uh, kind of what I'm used to with with clamp. Um, as you see, the the clamp element is kind of these type of things, which you can attach to your tripod or you know something that's um, handy that will remain steady. And then um, you use these really great kind of um, jaws. They always remind me of. Um, the Velociraptor from uh, Jurassic Park. I don't know why, um, but uh, you use these these jaws. Um, you could put a, oh, that's that's um, interesting. It's cushioned, so uh, I, particularly when I'm out photographing things like uh, flowers and, and, and insects, you can attach this to your tripod. Just put that round the stem of a flower if it's a little bit windy. Tiny up gently, holds the flower steady. Perfect for for photography. I've I've also um, uh, in our pond in the back garden, uh, put sticks in these uh, and, and hope that uh, a, um, a dragonfly or a damselfly will land on them because you can then control exactly where you want it. Uh, also, um, uh, like I say, you can use them for things like um, holding um, reflectors. So, you know, not everyone can afford a, um, a photographic assistant, and, and sometimes my kids aren't uh, available to do stuff for me because they're at school. Um, but if you're out um, photographing flowers, for example, and you, you need to hold um, a reflector, you know, I'm, I'm sure we've all had those moments where you know you've got a camera in one hand or you're setting your tripod and stuff up, and you're trying to hold a you know a, a, a reflector in one hand, and you're trying to photograph in the other, and you you just need an extra pair of hands. Plamp is an extra pair of hands. You put your your um, uh, reflector in there, and it'll hold it steady. The the, the wonderful thing about Plamp. Um, this sounds like a song. The wonderful thing about that um, is just the flexibility. These joints, the, the joints look a little bit like um, pawns from a chess game, but the way that it's designed, it's a brilliant design. Uh, they'll articulate in, in any direction. Now they, they squeak a lot, but uh, you know you can see just the flexibility. And um, if I can do this, oh, I don't know if I can. They come to pieces, so you can put extra pieces in. And then that will pop back in. I won't do that quite now because it will show just how weak I am. Um, but I'll see what else is. Oh, so I'm just talking about putting extra. Here's the extra piece. So there's an extender. They just pop in, um, and you um, you extend it quite a distance. Um, I always, uh, when I'm out photographing um, insects or flowers, I've always got plamp in the um, in, in my bag because it's just so versatile. For all sorts of things, Hol holding your, your subjects uh, gently, holding things for you, but also holding things out of the way. Occasionally, you're photographing a flower in a meadow, you would just want to gently hold some grass out of the way. Plamp is 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 there to help you. Uh, what, uh, so this uh, this is the kind of more traditional style I'm used to. So you put that onto your tripod. Um, but there's a new system um, called stake. I guess this is the stake. Uh, looks a bit like a yeah I'm not gonna say that um, like, oh so okay this is how that works that must nicely branded Wimberley made in the USA this is your stake goes into the ground and does that fit on there oh no so you then um, well let's see what else is in there so we'll see how see how that works just put that away so I don't stab myself with it oh okay, okay. so this is the stake with the piece fitted, and that is an extension. Ooh, 
Barney. That's in there, good and proper. Um, so, an extension piece. So what you would do is you're out in a field. This is going to be great. Um, you're out in a field somewhere where there's, um, you know, not nothing you can attach your plant to. Um, oh, nice sound. Um, that goes in the ground, and then you've got your secure clasp. You so that is that is that is going to be really great. I'm going to I can imagine sticking that in the soil somewhere, um, and that'll keep things steady. Particularly when it's a little bit breezy, uh, it'll hold things steady for you. So I'll just put that away because knowing me, I'll stab myself. Um, but yeah, great. All made out of kind of really durable plastic as well. I've had some clamp systems um, for quite a long time, good few years. You know, it, it can get wet, uh, it can get muddy. It just it just washes down. I'll say another extension sheet. So my plant will like this one. And then one more thing. Um, what is this? Okay, so it's an extension rod. So what one of the um, wonderful things about uh, the, the system um, is there's a kind of unlimited variety of what you can do with it so you can um, add extra bits um, when I'll, I'll do a review out in the field but I'll show you the other uh, bits of, uh, of plant kit I've got um, which really is durable I, I use it for photography I've used it for holding my iPhone um, for f filming stuff when I've done time lapses um, I can imagine I'll be using it to attach my Go GoPro to things as well but it's just hugely um, versatile and uh, as I say, it is like having that extra pair of hands. Uh, Plamp obviously have, uh, have thought through the systems, uh, Wimberley I should say, have really thought through the systems uh, for, for Plamp. Um, so I just love fiddling with these things. Um, so yeah, great, I, I, I'll, um, I'll do a review out in the field, but uh, it's great to ha get that gift box. So I'm gonna, uh, you know, the reason I've been sent these is to, to do a, a, a review for uh, Wimbley, you can imagine already from my enthusiasm, it's going to be a positive review. But what I'll do is I'll um, take them out into the field or maybe into the garden uh, where it's a bit more of a controllable environment and um, show you how they work when you're setting stuff up. But you know, the reality of using them in the field. Um, so, thanks to Wimbley for sending these to me. Thanks, uh, Chuck, uh, I appreciate it. And um, wait a few seconds, and there will be a review coming up come out into the garden to show you the plant in uh, a natural environment and we've obviously got a pond here this lovely purple loose strife um, and uh, unfortunately uh, you have to take my word for it, it's purple loose strife because it's past its um, its flowering period but in the summer it um, has uh, has beautiful purple flowers attracts lots of insects and it looks really it's one of my favorite um, uh, marginal plants around the pond and I've photographed it before but if for example I was coming out to photograph this Today is a good example, it's a little bit breezy, um, so when the wind picks up, the uh, plant stems are moving, and obviously that's not good for photography because you're trying to take the photograph, and if that's moving, uh, it can I I introduce um, a kind of blurred image. It's also quite frustrating, like, you know, it's really annoying if you've lined up a shot, uh, and, you know, maybe there's a dragonfly sat on the leaf, you've lined up the shot, and then it's constantly moving. Um, it can be quite frustrating. So I have my traditional plant uh, equipment. So I've had this for, for quite a long time. Um, and it's actually in my camera bag all of the time. Um, uh, it's that important. Um, has a big clamp on one end. So you would attach that to your uh, tripod. And then I have these two arms. Now one of the beauties of, of um, plant is that whoever came up with this um, design was a genius because um, it's so flexible. You can, can you can add extra pieces. I've added this um, this orange piece on to give me an extra um, arm, but uh, there, there is no limitation to what you can do with it. But so you, as you can see now, the the um, the plant is moving. What I would do gently. When I say gently. Um, this is rubber, so you know it's not going to um, do any damage. Gently grip the plant. You've got your hands free then. That will hold it steady and you take your photographs. Obviously I've got two arms on this so I can grip the plants higher and, and take my photographs and make sure obviously the, the plant's not in the frame. But it just, that is rock steady now. The wind is blowing a little bit um, but that's steady. 
Um, the benefit of having the, the two arms also means I can do things like, just get this out. Um, if you haven't got one of these, I, I, I'd recommend getting it. It's a, um, it's a small reflector, gold on one side, uh, silver on the other. And what it allows you to do um, is bounce the natural light back on. So the sun is uh, directly opposite it at the moment. So it allows you to bounce the natural light, um, either gold or silver, back onto your subject. Um, I tend not to use flash. Um, so using one of these uh, is, is a great opportunity to illuminate uh, your scene as you like. But it's obviously going to be difficult to take a photograph and manipulate this at the same time. So just grip it with your clamp, move that whichever way uh, is providing the best light. and hey presto, um, your hands are free for your camera. Now obviously you could have someone holding that for you uh, and if you ever see anybody out taking kind of fashion photographs, they've obviously got you know an entourage of people doing that type of thing. Uh, being a poor old uh, natural history and, and landscape photographer, I don't have that luxury unless the kids are with me. Uh, so the plant is there to do that for me and it really is that extra pair of hands. Um, so uh, one of the things I these really are handy. One of the things I uh, also use the plant for is just to um, hold things out of the way. So th this is a good example. Or if you're photographing, say, a, um, a wildflower in a meadow and there's, there's things um, in the frame that are distracting. Perfect. Hold that, move out of the way. Hold that, move out of the way. Hold that move out of the way. It's holding that gently out of the way, so if I wanted to photograph here, there's no distractions in the foreground, and when I let go, no damage to the plant. So that's my traditional uh, plant equipment, and I'll just get the stuff that uh, um, I've, I've recently been sent to, um, to, to test and uh, show you that. So this is my um, kind of traditional uh, plant equipment, um, and this is some of the, uh, the new equipment that's been, been, been sent. Now, you can see clearly um, uh, the big clips are still the same. One of the differences is that clearly this is um, kind of a lot chunkier. Um, but one of the major differences is, is, is the clamp satchel at the end. You can see this is my older version. Um, and it works very, very well. It, it's quite simple. Um, it's a bit like a, a clothes peg. Um, just open and close and uh, it grips very, very effectively. Um, the new system, however, uh, the clamp is much more finessed, so um, I hope you can see this. Turn this screw and uh, uh, opens and closes, and then there's two uh, rubber pads on the inside, so even more gentle uh, than the previous system. So again, I would clamp that away and then tighten up. But I do like the fact that um, the, the pads mean that you're not damaging the plant in any way, shape, or form, but um, it's incredibly, um, incredibly solid. Uh, I'm going to hold that nicely for you. It's also got this um, fantastic um, capacity to move in, in all sorts of directions. Um, there's another. It is a, it's a bit like uh, Lego, I suppose. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, variations on uh, the equipment that you can attach and put on. So if you wanted a bit of extra reach, there's an arm, um, and that's fantastic. Um, but there's also <laughs> test test my strength now. Um, these these are uh, I guess the phrase is modular, so you can pop those pieces out. Uh, you can put extension pieces in, a bit like my uh, older piece. You can put splitters, so you can add on uh, extra arms. It's just the variety and the flexibility is just amazing, and it, it's incredibly well made. I, I, I you know I think this is a, a type of PVC. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it gets wet because it won't get rusty. Uh, it's not going to break if you drop it. But, um, it's just rugged, flexible, and uh, I, I really love uh, the plant system. Um, it is like having an assistant in the field without having to pay them. Um, so, again, um, thanks for, to Wimberley for sending me these things. But one of the things I wanted to show you was a, a new innovation from, from Wimberley that can be very helpful and I'm just going to try and clip this back together. It, it can be a bit tricky, um, particularly when it's new, um, but uh, I, I didn't have any um, 
Oh, I did have porridge for breakfast this morning, so maybe it'll go. So it oh, there we go. You hear that? So hopefully you heard that click. But um, one of the other benefits of, of uh, kind of this system is you can see it. it it's quite easy to put away. You know, as I said, the, the other system's been in my camera bag for about the last five years or so. That will go in my camera bag in one of the, the, the pouches quite easily. I'll probably get even smaller than that. It doesn't take up much space. Um, but then when it's fully extended, that's that's fantastic. Um, but the other system that uh, that uh, is, is is new from uh, from Wimberley is the ground stake. So I'll I'll, I'll show you that now. So you can see I've, I've, I've moved my tripod uh, a little bit because uh, I wanted to give a demonstration. So imagine I'm um, photographing uh, this plant. Uh, I'm all set up here, but actually the sun's over there, and I want my reflector here. Or there's things blowing in the way here. I've only got the one tripod set up, and I could uh, add my plant to this leg, but to give me a bit more flexibility. Have created the ground stake, um, which as you can see is the same system as, as here, it's the same um, uh, clamp on the end, but with the addition of, of this at the end. So, what happens is you take this out, reverse it, it's just as the name says, it's a spike, put that in the ground, and it gives me amazing flexibility to be over here uh, working with my camera, but also have. My an, an, an extra pair of hands, so I've got one extra pair of hands here, so it's almost like having two extra pairs of hands. Um, and I've done some photography um, of flowers in particular for uh, something called Meet, Meet Your Neighbours, uh, and I'll put some of the images in, in here. But to take those photographs, I need to have stuff um, uh, behind uh, the, the, um, the plant in this case, or the insect. So I need to put uh, PVC as it happens uh, behind. <laughs> when I've done it in the past, I've used all sorts of weird and wonderful contraptions. I've used garden chairs. When I've been out in the wild, I've used kind of bits of twig and, and all sorts. This is going to really make my life a whole lot easier. Um, and not en not only is it just the, the, the ground um, stake, there's more extenders. So again, it's, it's almost kind of limitless opportunity. So that is amazing. It's got loads of height, um, and it means I can have just ultimate flexibility so um, if you haven't seen plant before uh, hopefully that's given you I do like those noises uh, hopefully that's given you an understanding of um, what the system is if you're interested in this type of photography plant photography insect photography and you're out in the field and you don't have the luxury of someone wandering around with you I would highly recommend that you get hold of uh, some plant equipment now obviously I've got um, quite a bit here uh, but even just the one arm uh, with the clip would be of benefit to anybody who's out and about. Um, and it's not just for holding things like plants. Um, in the summer, I, for example, I will put uh, twigs in here, uh, hold it over the pond, and then hope dragonflies land on those things. Uh, there is no limit to what you can do with these uh, things in terms of this type of photography. It's only the only limitation is your imagination. So yeah, I can imagine hanging things off for dragonflies to land on, or kind of holding plants in all sorts of um, interesting uh, ways. So I if you're seriously interested in this type of photography and you find that frustration of uh, movement being an issue or having too much equipment and not knowing what to do with it, I'd, I'd invest in some of this um, plant equipment from Wimberley. I I'll put a link um, below to their to their website. Uh, and do go and have a look. Um, but uh, so, thank you to Wimberley and uh, and Chuck in particular for sending me to test these things. Um, I, I appreciate it. If you've enjoyed um, what I've been telling you about Plamp, do kind of leave a comment below. Let me know if you use it and and what you use it for. It'd be interesting to see what variety of um, ideas people come up with. Um, please kind of press the thumbs up and. Uh, really helps when I'm making these videos to know that people are reading, uh, people are watching, sorry, and then uh, enjoying them. And, and if you've got time, please uh, leave a comment. And don't forget uh, to subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more reviews, um, but also obviously uh, lots of videos out in the field, behind the scenes when I'm taking photographs. So um, thanks very much for watching and uh, see you in the next one.